Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy's Couch. So today, we're back for another round of the Master Mode Let's Play. So truth be told, I'm actually re-recording this intro because unfortunately, the first time I did it, my software wasn't actually picking up my microphone, which I feel is very on brand for the channel. When people think of Chippy's Couch, they usually think of broken washing machines, broken microphones with a nice deep voice glitch and of course my broken brain that's right hey welcome back i hope you've all been doing well staying safe and washing those hands so what do you miss in the original intro well let me tell you let me get you all caught up so that we can begin it's actually pretty good because i didn't lose that much footage i lost about you know like three four minutes of talking what's that nothing uh, so, I've decided to change the way we progress through the rest of the Master Mode series. And I'll tell you why. So, originally, the plan was we were going to farm out Duke Fishron today, get ourselves a set of Duke Fishron wings, and we will still do that at some point. But we were going to use those Duke Fishron wings to take on and defeat the Empress of Light before killing Gollum. And then over the weekend, I had a good think about why I wanted to do that and why I don't want to do that. And I ultimately decided that I don't think that's the, the plan I want to go with. And I'll explain myself real quick. So the Empress of Light is a uh, is an optional boss. But when we say optional, it basically means that you can kind of move the position that you do the fight. It's obviously not optional because it's such a sick fight and I want to do it regardless. But when I think about it, if we do the Empress of Light before Gollum, we basically give ourselves an even greater challenge, but it's not really worth it because you don't get an even greater reward. You see, the thing is, if we don't do the Empress of Light, we can still smash Gollum. So we're on our way to do Gollum now, right? And with our current build without any Empress of Light loot, we're gonna be fine, right? We're not gonna have any trouble with Gollum. The biggest trouble with Gollum is actually getting to Gollum. Like, let's be real about it. That's pretty rough, but it's pretty true. Um, so basically what I'm trying to say is, I think people should just do Gollum, get the enjoyment out of getting some upgrades, and then do the Empress of Light, because the Empress of Light gives some great rewards that you can use against the Moon Lord. So I think, I don't know where people sit on this, but I feel like Empress of Light is, is post-Gollum. Not really in terms of difficulty, but more in terms of like, actual challenge to reward. I don't know, what do you think about that? Let me know if you've played 1.4. And you have some input on that. But that's just how I'm feeling right now. So yeah, we're going to do Gollum. We're going to get some loot. Maybe get some Beetle Armor. And then we'll probably use our new loot to do the uh, Juke Fishron farming. So that we get a pair of Juke Fishron wings. So I was just setting up the uh, arena for Gollum. And uh, and I realized I didn't have any wood for, um, for platforms. So I think this is going to... Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, there's a lot of traps here. Yeah, I think this is going to be my first legitimate time using a return potion. How cool is that? Like, I don't think I've ever really gotten to um, to appreciate them. They're really cool. Like, I don't know. I've been kind of using them as um, magic mirrors for a while, which is very understandable. You know, we didn't have a magic mirror for ages. But yeah, they're, they're really sick. So you just like, you got this, bam. And here you are, back where you were, where you left off. That is so cool. Like... In terms of like just 1.4, what it adds, it is honestly all the small features that really add together to make something great. Like, wow. Um, all right, okay, let's let's crack on with this. Let's let's move this all out. So, uh, so I've been gone for um for a couple of days, as you've probably seen. Basically, what ended up happening is uh is Courtney got a week off work, which is pretty great because even though uh we do live together and she now works from um from home. You know, it's it's not the same, right? When you're hanging out at home, it's not the same as like going out, enjoying a little day trip, going to see family, stuff like that. So at first we were only gonna do like one little day trip and see what that was about. But then we felt pretty comfortable with what we were doing. So uh, so we had a few more. So, uh, so that's where I've been. In that time as well, I, uh, I completely reset my computer, which is great because right now my like RGB keyboard and mouse, it works with Terraria. So, as I'm like, I'll try and explain it real quick, but the keyboard kind of has this orange glow all over it that moves across and then a, a little bit of green comes in and that's because we're in the uh, the temple. Pretty cool, right? It's, it's not bad. I mean, I, I wish I could show you, 
But to be honest, who really wants to display their own keyboard? Keyboards quite honestly look gross. Like, even if you're somebody that washes your hands all day, like we do, I don't know, like, just rubbing your oily fingers and everything, gross. I don't even have oily fingers, but let's be real here, keyboards are just, they're just disgusting, aren't they? This is really gross. Unless they're brand new, ugh, get it away. All right. So, um, so this arena is actually almost done. This is great. I'm just smoothing it out a little bit. This is going to be good. I would love if we get absolutely smashed by Colin right now. Because, I don't know, like, I think the irony of it all would be, would be pretty great. Okay, alright, we're gonna buff up, we're gonna get ready. Do we have any wood left? Yeah, we do. Alright, let's put down a, uh, a campfire at least. You know what, we've got wood for it, so we're gonna put down two. Look at that. Nice, nice. But yeah, resetting my computer was, was really great. I've actually moved over to a, a new editing software as well. I've been using um, Sony Vegas 14 for like, I don't know, five, six years. It's the last one that I bought. And I remember last year, I was speaking about trying the uh, free trial for Sony Vegas 17. Couldn't really get on with it, but I found out they do a subscription service for, uh, for Sony Vegas 18, which is the brand new one that came out last week. Now, I don't mind paying a subscription service for it because if it starts to break, I can just cancel the subscription and I haven't spent you know, hundreds of pounds on a software that I might not like. So that's been pretty good. Although, it does worry me a little bit, right? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, because I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like it's gonna break at a time where it's it's not gonna be convenient to break, because I really know Sony Vegas 14. Like, I know it inside and out, even though it's such an old software. I kind of just make it work for me. But the good thing about moving to, uh, to newer softwares is that they support the actual, like, newer components in your computer. So everything renders out faster. Long term, if this Vegas software turns out alright, it's gonna be good. Like, I'm pleased that I did it. Okay, so we are already to the point where we've opened up the core of the golem. I don't even know really what to call the core of the golem. Like, I've just called it the core of the golem because I don't know what it's called. The golem body? What do people call this? Okay, this fight's going really well, and it's done. Yeah, there you go. What's what's the point? Like, <laughs> they need to buff it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Terraria. I apologize. Look, I'm not over here moaning about master mode every two minutes, but uh, but I am moaning about Gollum. Can we just change Gollum? Can we just improve him? Can we move him around? Can we do something with him? Gollum's done. Gollum is easier, way, way, way easier than Duke Fishron. Embarrassingly so. So we got the Staff of the Earth. You've had a re-sprite. Look at you. You look kind of nice. You do. You look kind of good. I'm going to say it. Um, so yeah, the big perk of doing that is that we get the uh, the beetle. Are they called husks? Yeah, you get the you get the beetle husks, basically. So you can make the beetle armor, which we will do right now. I don't know if you need to kill it twice to get beetle armor. I'm going to be honest with you. So six, eight, and four. All right, we've got more than enough. So we'll go leggings. Thank you very much. We will go... Ooh. So there's two different variants. I've, I always forget about this. There is lower defense, but you basically do more damage. I think that's right. And then you get the higher defense, but you don't do as much damage. And enemies target you more. Ooh. I don't know. What do you... What do you go with? Alright, I'm going to go with the, the beetle scale. I'm going to go with the lower defense, but uh, but more damage. So, set bonuses. Beetles increase your melee damage and speed. All right. Pretty great, to be honest. Nice little um, nice little upgrade there. Thank you very much. Um, so, with that being said, now that we have that small upgrade, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to... Um, to farming out Duke Fishrom for today to get those uh to get those Fishrom wings. But we are a little bit more equipped now because in the previous episode, uh, you may have seen that we only took down uh Duke Fishrom by like the actual skin of our teeth. Like it was the final stroke of the Terror Blade that did it. So um so we're a little bit better equipped now. And I'm hoping that that pays off. Alright, so uh pretty big jump cut here. Hey. Uh, I decided to take on Duke Fishron, but unfortunately, only lasted about half the fight. Now, it's not the armor. The armor is, is genuinely really good. I quite like it. It's basically, this office is just too hot to handle. That's right. So, I kind of have to do a little bit of recording, open the door, get the fan on nice and loud, let it all cool down. 
and then uh, and then crack on with recording again. And it's funny because I woke up this morning and I was like, I'm fixing this heating issue because it's just it's it's too hot, right? It really is. It's unbearable, and it makes making videos a bit of a chore. So anyway, I woke up and I was like, I'm gonna go buy a fancy fan. One of those ones that are like powerful, but they're quiet, not aircon, because I can't have aircon. So I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna go all out. So I was like, I'm gonna get one of those fancy Dyson fans. Now you may have seen them. They look kind of great. They're like a giant circle. They don't have any blades because they hide it in the, uh, basically the lower half of the fan is the fan so that they can say bladeless. So I go to the shop and I had a little look at it and it looked, it looked pretty amazing. And I enjoyed, I enjoyed the temperature coming out of it. It was, it was pretty good. Wasn't too loud, which I appreciated. And then I saw the price. <laughs> These fans, or the one I looked at, which was the cheaper one, was 250 pounds. <laughs> and I was like, nah, I, I can't. I just, I just can't justify 250 pounds on a fan considering Britain gets hot for about four days a year. I was like, right, it's, it's, I'm, I'd rather sweat buckets than buy a 250 pound fan. Are you mad, Dyson? But no, the tech in it is really cool. And I feel like if I was gonna use it all year round, 250 pound, I, I think, I think that could be worth it. But I was like, that's the price of a Nintendo Switch Lite. I was like, I can't, I can't. So basically right now, my only fan is a Nintendo Switch Lite, so. You know, it's, it's not going so well. But uh, for real, the fan that I do have is so broken and so janky. Just like everything I own. Because I bought it on the cheap, it didn't last very long, and I still have it. So maybe when it's cooler, I'll be able to defeat Duke Fisheron. But no, for real, we're going to go do a Duke Fisheron fight now. The thing is, I only have two truffle worms. So I'm kind of hoping I crank it out. All right. Let's buff up. Let's get ready. This is going to be good. So while I've been away, I've also been playing a new game. I say new, it's just new on the PC. Uh, I've been playing Horizon Zero Dawn. I've been really enjoying it so far. I spoke about the fact that um, a sequel is coming out when I was talking about the, the PlayStation 5 reveal. But yeah, I never got the chance to play the original because it was at the same time that uh, the Nintendo Switch launched and Breath of the Wild did. So I basically spent all my money on the Nintendo Switch. So I didn't really want to buy it. But yeah, I picked it up on PC. It's uh, it's pretty good. I've probably played about five hours so far, which for me is quite a lot because I, I try. Well, I haven't been playing many games at the minute, um, but yeah, it's good. However, I'm not actually going to recommend it to anybody. Um, sorry, Horizon Zero Dawn. Your free advertisement ends now, because the PC port of the game is awful. It's really bad. I, they need to just patch out some of the issues, but the performance issues are really, 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 really bad. So right now, I have this new gaming laptop, which I've been talking about, and uh, and it runs it just fine. You know, 1080p, I'm playing on high settings, which is great because, you know, it's, it's about the same level as a, a PlayStation 4, maybe a little bit like a PlayStation 4 Pro, right? And then I play it on my big Mammoth PC, which is the one in my office, which is really, really powerful, and it can't do that. It can't do high 1080p. And all my drivers are up to date and everything. It's basically because it just does such a botched job of basically optimizing the shaders at the start. That it doesn't really know what it's doing. And they don't have an option to just recache all these shaders. And it's just a bit of a pain, right? It's, they'll fix it, trust me. They will. Like, they know they know what's gone wrong. It is hard to, to test a PC port. Like, I'm just going to be real. I give them a lot of sympathy in that sense. There are so many different variants of PCs, you know. So many different custom builds out there. I can understand that it's not the most easy thing in the world. So we're giving them a free pass, but they need to fix it because they've done a bit of a botched job, right? And I just want to play Horizon Zero Dawn in nice graphics upstairs and have it chug along on my laptop, okay? That's all I want. God, this fight is still so brutal, even with this new armor. Wow. I'm surprised we did that. I really am. No fish on wings, but we did get the flare on. Which is technically a, a melee weapon, so we can use that. Alright, okay. I'm just glad I got it done. <laughs> I am. I'm glad I got it done. So let me take some cooked fish. Let me heal up. Alright, we'll do it again. And we'll use the uh, the flare on this time. I don't think it's a weapon that I've used in, in so long. 
I really cannot think of the last time I used this weapon, if any. I never play Warrior when I play Terraria, like, at all. I mean, I've spoken about this a few times now. Like, I feel like a lot of you know this. But yeah, it's... I I'm gonna say it. I think it's probably my, my least favorite class to play now. I think so far, the ranking goes like this. I would say, in 1.4, Mage is my favorite class, by far. And then I would say it goes Summoner... Because I really enjoy the whips. I think the whips are kind of what I want out of Warrior. Um, yeah, the, the summoner class is, is amazing. I really, really like summoner. And then it would probably go ranged. And that's really close because ranged is really good as well. Like, I really enjoy ranged. And then, yeah, I'd put I'd put Warrior last. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. I think it's just the way I like to play games, though. I like to be further back. Do you know what I mean? I like to I like to keep distance from what I'm, from what I'm fighting. Whereas Warrior is about being a little bit more upfront, a little bit more aggressive. I feel like you have to be, in a lot of situations, a lot better at the game as well. Because you have to really know the AI so that you know what you're dodging at all times. Uh, so that's where I'm at with that. But I am having fun. I don't want it to be said that I'm not. Because it's a bad class in Terraria is still really good in comparison to a lot of games. I mean, I love this game so much. I mean, I think you all know that it's, it's my absolute life. <laughs> I love talking about it. I don't think I've... I might have said this before, but like Courtney said before, she's heard me talk about Terraria while I've been sleep talking. That's how that's how deeply rooted into the game I am. Okay, right. Give me Fishron wings. Oh, I, do you know what? I would have been so buzzed about that Razor Blade Typhoon if I was playing a um, a, a mage. Because the Razor Blade Typhoon is, is kind of great. It is. It's good, isn't it? All right, well, um, I'll take a small break from that for today then. So I think what we'll do is we will try and get ourselves some prismatic lace wings. And then also, I think what we've got to do is build an arena. Because right now, uh, we don't have the, the right space for this fight. And we're going to need a, a good amount of space. Actually, do you know what? I'm genuinely so glad I got the, uh, the flare on. I am. I mean, I'm really happy that I got it. Because I feel like... I feel like I would have, yeah, I, I feel like I, it's going to be better for the uh, the Empress of Light, I do. So when it comes to the Empress of Light, I don't have like a set kind of arena that I like to make. But I would say just something large and something flat is probably going to help you out more than anything else really. Like I don't feel like you need a hundred different layers so that you can constantly, you know, reset your wings and such. I just think maybe two, maybe three giant layers and you'll be fine. It's kind of almost like doing a Calamity boss fight, honestly. Like, in Calamity, if you were to make an arena for pretty much any boss fight other than, like, one of the special ones, like Yaren or Supreme Calaminous, what do you do, right? You're going up against the uh, the Slime God. What do you make? You make a big, long platform. Yeah, same with Empress of Light. Now, I will say, I am... I think it might be a bit of a faff getting these Prismatic Lace Wings, honestly. Quite honestly, because... Uh, we have such a, a rubbish hallowed in this world. We have an ice biome hallowed that is attacked from either side by corruption. So it's really small. And it, it, yeah, it's just diddy. And I don't know if, if these lace wings are going to even spawn all that frequently. Which would be a bit annoying. Because uh, yeah, this fight takes a while to master, I would say. So you need a good few amount of prismatic lace wings. Hey, look at that. All right, Prismatic Leg Swing. Okay, that did not take long at all. I was probably here about 30 seconds, if that. Oh, that's great. I really like that. That's good. That's a good sign for the future. That is honestly what you want. Maybe because of the fact it's a small hallowed, they spawn in a little bit more frequently. I don't know. Because I've had trouble. Like, when I was doing the, um, the Summoner's Run, it took me forever to get Prismatic Leg Swings. It really did. Like, it was just such a slog. So I think like one or two a night is a is a pretty fair amount, I would say. Um, I mean, there's no limit on how many you can spawn. It is completely random. So you can get really lucky and get like four in a night. But um, but often that doesn't happen. I really want... I, I kind of want to do Empress of Light now and just check it out today. Since we do have the, the late swing, maybe we'll do it the once. Yeah, go on. Let's do it the once. All right, maybe I should wait around to see if I can get another one. But yeah, I'm going to do it. Well, we'll sleep, make it nighttime again. Oh, it's going to be good. 
Yeah, so we're gonna actually do this. Like, I'm pretty pumped. Honestly, I think Empress of Light is probably one of the best additions in 1.4. And I say that quite often. Like, there's so many best additions in 1.4. But the Empress of Light, I don't know. It holds a very special spot in my heart. Because I just love it. Does it does it have a reason to hold this special spot in my heart? No, not really. Like, I don't have any, like... I don't know. I don't have a, a significant attachment to it. I just really like the fight. And it makes me like Terraria better as a whole because it's in the game. It's just so good. It really is. All right, buff up. Get ready. I think I'm going to get stomped before we go into the second phase. What is your prediction? Let me know, okay? Right, here she is. The Empress of Light. I haven't done her in a while, so I'm not going to be too good. And also, my speed isn't the best thing in the world. We're going to see what I can remember. Ooh, okay. What I like about that phase, and I might die to it later, so don't, <laughs> don't, uh, you know, don't let me praise it too much. But what I like about that star phase is that it's pretty forgiving, I would say, with its hitbox. Does anybody else feel like that? So I don't think this uh, this weapon's too great. I think maybe it's a the bubbles are a little bit too slow for the uh, for the fight. Let's try the uh, the Terror Blade out and see if that's any better. So I've just seen on my Audacity that my uh, microphone clipped a little bit when I was talking just then. So I might have to, to cut a chunk of this fight out. Not too sure yet. Letting you know in advance. I haven't set up my microphone audio properly. Uh, which I'm, which I'm, I'm only just starting to realize now that I'm actually talking. It's part of um, setting up the new computer again though, basically. When I say new computer, same computer, just new software. So I think what's what's holding me back in this fight is um, it's just a lack of like actually hitting it properly. I don't think I'm doing a very good job of actually aiming and hitting. And I do think this I think this thing is too slow. I think that's what it is. I think this is like a big part of it. But yeah, these bubbles are just just too slow, not accurate enough maybe. So I would say as a warrior, you kind of want this fight to go on a little bit faster than this. This almost feels as slow as um, Summoner, honestly. Which is not great, because you don't want it as slow as Summoner. So, just straight up with this fight, I will say, if you're having just, like, any issues, and you're using a, a similar build to what I've got now, trust me, go get the Duke Fisher on wings, because it makes such a difference. Like, just the speed increase from that alone will save you through the majority of the fight. Trust me, it's real good. And then, other than that, just, like, having a lot of practice helps as well. I mean, I'm not doing, like, exceptionally well here or anything, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm holding my own for now. The only thing is, though, we're about to come into the second phase, and that's where things get a little bit harder. So, I don't know. Is this fight alright to watch when I'm just being extremely slow with it? Or is this just, like, an absolute snooze? I can't tell. So, the second phase of the fight is, uh, is a lot harder. I can't exactly remember her AI in the second phase. The thing is, when I was learning how to do it more in the Summoner's ROM... I would always, um, it was always the first phase I was having problems with, not necessarily the second phase. Oh, I'm doing so bad. So I got really good at the first phase, and then I never got to practice the second one. But this is, if I remember right, this is where the, the speed increase really starts to, to show from the wings. Uh, to be honest, I'm, su I'm surprised I'm alive. I think a lot of you are as well. Okay, well, I think I don't think this is going to go on too much longer. Yeah, I think tomorrow, though, we are definitely getting those... Yeah, <laughs> we're definitely getting those wings tomorrow. Because that is... It's real hard. It's a real hard fight. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end it there for today's episode. As always, thank you so much for watching. A big shout out to our channel members that are scrolling by on screen right now. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to make videos for you members and just obviously everyone in general. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, maybe for an episode of Mage. I think I'm feeling Mage. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow anyway. All right, have a great day, everyone. And that's it. I was going to say see you tomorrow, but I've said it like 10 times. So I'll just say bye.